morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Wilmer just read for you. I share with you today at verse 21. Jesus said to the man, Go, sell what you have, and give it to the poor, and you will find the treasure of heaven. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. There's a true story about a poor farm boy in Iowa whose name was Oscar Hartzell. Oscar developed a scheme whereby he contacted everyone in the United States whose last name began with Drake. It seems like the estate of the great British pirate Sir Francis Drake had never been handed out to the heirs. It had been 300 years since Sir Francis Drake died, and the estate was now worth over $4 trillion. So Oscar said to all those who had the last name of Drake, I want you to invest in a campaign to take the British government to court for not paying us what we should get as heirs. He told them that they would receive over $500 for each $1 they invested. Well, tens of thousands of people fell for his scam. None of it was true. All those people were just looking for a way to get rich quick. Why would they do that? Well, the Word of God before us today helps to answer that question. In the Word of God before us today, a man comes up to Jesus one day and he says, Jesus, what do I need to do to get to heaven? And Jesus says, well, what the commandments say. They say, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not tell lies, honor your mother and father. And the man said, Jesus, I've done all those things. And Jesus looked at him, as the Bible says, with a loving smile. And he said, go and sell what you have, and give it to the poor. And then you'll find the treasure of heaven. Well, the man couldn't do that because he loved his riches too much. Do you believe that all of your problems in life would be solved if you had just a little bit more money? How about if you had a lot more money? Would that solve all of your problems in life? It won't. Jesus warned people here over and over about the danger of loving money more than God. Jesus said it was easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it was for a rich person to get to heaven. A number of your fellow members were with me last week in Israel, and we saw camels there. And I can tell you, camels are big creatures. How in the world could a camel ever get through the eye of a needle? It can't. Jesus says that's how hard it is for a rich person to get to heaven. Another time, Jesus told about a rich man who built some barns to hold all of his riches. But then he died, and he left everything behind. Jesus told about another man who went to hell because he trusted in his riches more than he did his God. Let me share with you today three dangers of wealth. First of all, wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget the ones you love. Could be your spouse, could be your children, could be your parents. It's not easy to balance money with your family. A few years ago, a different kind of rental agency opened up in Japan. It was called Rent a Family. 
The agency connected people with elderly people who had been abandoned by their families. These elderly people paid $1,000 just so they could have someone who would care about them. It's not only elderly people who are forgotten, is it? A lot of people are forgotten because their loved ones care more about money than they do about them. Secondly, wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget about your Christian morals and values. Do you remember the actor Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp made over $650 million when he did movies like Pirates of the Caribbean. Today, Johnny Depp has nothing. His money's all gone. Did you know that he wasted it? He wasted it. He spent, get this, $30,000 a month just on wine. He spent millions of dollars on things that didn't last. Worldly things that wouldn't last. And now he has nothing at all. Johnny valued his wealth more than he valued morals and values of right and wrong. You may never be as wealthy as Johnny Depp, but God does bless you with money for you to live on. Do you take these words of Jesus seriously here today? Are you using the money that God gives to you wisely? Is your money causing you to value things more than you value your God? Thirdly, wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget about your God. Wealth is dangerous if it becomes more important to you than your God. Richard Cook recently wrote a book entitled Living the 80-20 Way. Work less, worry less, succeed more, enjoy more. In this book, he took a survey of people who were asked how much more money they would need to keep them from worrying. He was shocked at the result. He found out that people who made a living of over $100,000 a year needed more money to keep from worrying than people who made less than $40,000 a year. Doesn't make sense, does it? You would think that the people making $40,000 a year would worry a lot more about money and things in life than those who made over $100,000 a year. But that wasn't the case. The more money you have, the more money you need to make you happy. The more money you have, really, the less happy you are. And Jesus told us here today why that's true, didn't he? Jesus said, it's because the more money you have, the more you are tempted to trust in your money more than you trust in your God. You're tempted to think that your money is going to help you to get to heaven rather than your faith in God. It happens so easily. We don't even realize it, do we? Jesus made this so clear in the book of Matthew when he said, no one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one or love the other. You cannot serve both God and money. It's Jesus who gives us eternal life in heaven, isn't it? Jesus died on a cross and he rose from the dead for you to forgive all your sins, to overcome death for you so that you can have eternal life in heaven. It's Jesus who gives you real joy, real happiness, and success in your life. Jesus, Jesus helps us all to understand this today, doesn't he? The man asked Jesus, Jesus, what do I need to do to get to heaven? And in a way, Jesus said to him, get your life in order. Start serving me, 
instead of serving your money. So look at your own life today. Learn from Jesus that wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget about your loved ones. Learn from Jesus today that wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget your Christian morals and values. Learn from Jesus today that wealth is dangerous if it causes you to forget about your God. Your money, it's a wonderful gift from God, isn't it? I encourage you today to use your money to make a big difference for God in this world. Use your money serving God and serving other people, and you're going to find the joy and the happiness that you're really looking for in life. You'll find how wonderful it is when you put God first. God bless each of you. Amen. Let's now stand and join together in the next.